Now for the final question, determine the length of OT. Okay, so um, if you can see for the first block or the first answer box, they say just ignore syntax error for a moment. In terms of alpha and another side, so let's go look where is OT. There we go, there's OT and we must write it in terms of alpha and another side. Now this is the information that we already have and I just put it in my own sketch and um, I see that I'm given the opposite side. I have to calculate OT, that would be the hypotenuse because it's opposite the 90 degree angle and um, that means I'm using the opposite and the hypotenuse. Now what I usually do is I use these rate triangles to help me um, calculate formulas so for example I know that sine okay so you see I have a triangle and I divide that triangle to three pieces sine is opposite is in the numerator hypotenuse is in the denominator similarly for cos I would have cos is adjacent over hypotenuse and finally tan would be opposite over adjacent. So if I want to calculate the adjacent side length then I would say okay I want this one so I close it with my one hand and um, then I see okay that means it's opposite over tan. So adjacent will be opposite over tan of whatever the angle is in question this case maybe alpha okay what we have is we have the opposite so we have opposite and we need the hypotenuse which means that's the one we need so as I said I put my hand over there I close it and I see okay that means my formula for the hypotenuse is opposite over sine so opposite over sine of alpha in this case. Okay, now opposite I know is OR. Now I'm not yet going to put in the values. I've got OR over sine of alpha. There we go. So let's type that in as my first answer. They said in terms of alpha and another side. So the other side is OR, just to show that it's one side I'm putting it in brackets, divided by sine and in brackets alpha. Okay, let's preview. They say syntax okay, that means I at least typed in the correct symbols. And now we can go for the final answer. The final answer, OT, would be OR, which is 28,8 divided by, and now sine of theta. Where are we going to get a value for sine of theta? Well, we can get it from our previous triangle, because in this triangle we don't have enough information, we don't have opposite and hypotenuse, but in our previous triangle we do. Remember this triangle, okay, in this triangle we have the adjacent to alpha and we have the opposite to alpha. We don't have the hypotenuse but it's quite easy to calculate because we know that r squared is equal to o squared plus um, adjacent squared, opposite squared plus adjacent squared, which just means it is 16 squared plus adjacent is negative uh, 12 squared. Okay that's 256 plus 144 gives me a total of 400 and that means r is the square root of 400 so plus or minus 20 but because it's the hypotenuse it can never be negative so it's just positive 20. So we have that is equal to 20 and therefore we know that in here we have 28 okay sine of alpha is now opposite which was 
sine of alpha is opposite 16 over 20. We can punch that in. 16 over 20. And if I want to, I can simplify that. That is 3 over uh, 5, 4 over 5. But I can also just type it in exactly like that in here. What is it? It's 28, sorry, 28, comma 8 divided by 16 over 20. Okay, and if I want to, I can preview the answer. I see, oh, my answer is exactly 36. So if I want to, okay, I can just answer 20, 36. And there we go.